very good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking as you can see I wanted to share with you my friends first the results we are having in the forex premium signals group we are having really great great and amazing results and I'm very proud of Angela's work as you can see we had from yesterday the euro NZD has reached has reached the 120 pips of profit delivered to our members against a very small loss of of 25 pips only and look at the results from yesterday it is full of green full of profits and if we continue uh, checking the results from yesterday look at that it's full of green my friends as you can see most of the signals if not all of them have reached the take profit levels and yes we are doing very well in the premium group and I'm very happy for the members in the group and as we can see these are the messages that we have received from the clients who have joined the service uh, this is from yesterday he's saying today was a good day and here we are sharing the profits with the members thank you Angela and Salah sir for another profitable day God bless and yes this guy here also look at him he have made in just one day eight hundred and ninety dollars of profit he he's probably one of the most profitable members we are having and as you can see in just one day he have made this big amount almost a thousand dollars of profit just using our signals so of course if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact angela you can find her contact details in the description below this video contact and contact her today and hopefully we will see you there so let's start right now the live trading and i'm planning actually to use the 20 pips a day now also i'm going to focus on the um pound pairs because actually they are really so profitable that nowadays and i actually prefer to trade them over the other pairs if i found the setup on the pound pairs i will enter the setup otherwise i will just have to look for another pairs such as the euro nzd euro cad euro usd and of course the other major pairs so let me just explain to you the reason why did I open the trade right now of course the first thing I want to do is reducing the lot size actually I think it was wrong idea to use one lot size in the last video um, we have to be careful uh, especially when we are scalping uh, the pound pairs especially the pound in ZD actually and allow me please to explain the reason why opening the trade right now now of course if we look at the 15 minute time frame sorry on the four hour time frame sorry let me correct it right now I'm on the four hour time frame all right so what we can notice right here is that we had a resistance that resistance has reversed exactly um how, how can i say that um what we have right here is the previous support level that support has already become here another resistance so we have here resistance number one and the pair has just reversed right now on resistance number two now what's happening is the broken resistance right here is being retested therefore we are right now on a previous support level so that support right now has to keep its position as a support actually frankly speaking i really don't need to look at the 15 minute time frame to know that i have to enter right here with the buy order now those who are following me of course they know this rule and i have to repeat it all every time i'm making any live trading video that once we can see that we have a breakout from a resistance we need to look at the bullish breakout candle and look at the nearest wick or tail to that bullish breakout candle from that point the reversal is gonna happen or it's gonna start actually so what we need to do right now if we want to have more accurate entry is move to the 50 minute time frame and as we can see here is the wick i'm talking about and that is right here is the bullish breakout candle now from that point exactly the candle is gonna start the reverse and let's watch it together reversing i will draw here a line now the candle is not supposed actually to to break out or to exceed that that line i have drawn here it should reverse from that point and hopefully our target is gonna be the nearest resistance to the entry point which is right here because my entry right now is gonna be the support and the nearest resistance to my entry is exactly right here that is a resistance level the resistance after this level is right here so which one of these two is the nearest one to my entry it's of course out of the question this resistance right here and therefore that's gonna be my take profit level and as we can see my friends 
that's gonna give me a 20 pips exactly meaning which is equivalent to 68 dollars of profit fantastic that is what, what, what i'm seeking so let me just now select the uh, stop loss exactly as the same just in case if anything happened out of uh, expect uh, unexpected ha thing happened and might actually change the whole direction so um i i'm actually planning to just keep one trade open at, at a time um i'm tired actually risking my account and i want to trade exactly like i'm doing on my daily basis without feeling that i'm recording and posting on youtube therefore the reality what i'm doing is opening one trade at at once therefore uh let's just keep this trade open and then i will open the next one after finishing this trade so please let's keep our eyes on this trade and let's see if the candle can ever exceed this uh, line i have drawn here so uh, until that uh, allow me please to pause the recording and i'll be back to you shortly so as you can see the candle is still not able to break out from that line i have drawn here just to prove to you that my um techniques and what i'm teaching here on youtube is really correct and valid and you can actually trust it when you're opening your trades by your own and if you go to the five minute time frame we can see that the candle is not even able to close below that line i have drawn here uh, by the way i wanted to share with you something that just let's mark it here to explain to you the reason why i really uh, feel exhausted when i'm making these live trading videos so let's just check the time right here i have started recording at actually 8 25 and right now it's 8 32 a.m in the morning and let's see what is gonna be the time when i finish with this video because actually it's really exhausting and it takes hell of time sometimes to find the decent setups to show you and not only that i have to explain and talk while while trading with the live account so Trust me, it's not a simple thing. Anyway, let's just wait some more time and see what will gonna happen with this trade. So until then, again, allow me to pause and I'll be back to you. Okay, so actually I have found, thing, found something very interesting here on the Euro NZD and I believe I'm going to place the sell order right now. Just hold on, please. Yes, definitely, yes, 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 absolutely, yes. Allow me please to explain the reason. First of all, I'm. I'm totally aware that I said I'm, I'm not planning to open more than a trade at a time but however the setup right here is really good uh, let me just tell you something here what we can see right here is we had exactly a previous resistance and remember I'm on the five minute time frame five minute time frame so as I mentioned before we had the resistance and right here the resistance and of course later on has been broken out by this bullish breakout candle but however that resistance has already become another support now the point here is that let's pay attention remember I'm on the five minute time frame okay so we had a strong key resistance level and right here we can see that we had also another key resistance level however after the breakout and that resistance has become a new support pay attention to what happened so that support right here has become a support for just a small reverse like that and then immediately the price has made the breakout from that support level what does that mean that means this level is much stronger as a resistance rather than support so when it was a support it was so weak that it, it, it has barely made one single attempt and then the price has immediately fall down breaking out from that support level so that means this level is not really good as a support we really want it as a resistance and that's why i had to place the sell order right here to avoid or sorry to, to, yeah to avoid the breakout from the resistance and therefore also to um what did i say to avoid no it's not the right term it's just just actually to not miss this opportunity and of course uh, it's obvious that the pair is gonna reverse let's now pay attention to the pair on the one hour time frame so on the one hour time frame as you can see uh, we had right here let me just drag the line we had right here the previous resistance which has been broken out by this bullish breakout candle and as we can see the retest has failed the retest has not succeed and the pair did not continue the rise and as you can see the pair is now falling below that support level and falling all the way down to that previous support level that's what can what can happen to the euro and the right now is going to continue the fall below that resistance level because the retest has just failed so that being said let me just select right now the take profit level and look at that 
that is exactly one of the reasons I like to trade the euro, uh, the euro and the D. Uh, it's just similar to the pound pairs. A small reversal can actually give us the profit that we are seeking. Now, uh, this is gonna provide me about 15 pips of profit only because the nearest support to my entry right here because I have placed my trade at that resistance level. So the nearest support or resistance to my entry is exactly that support. So I cannot really force the market to give me more than that because this is what the setup is giving me. So I wanted to place the tech profit level right here to get 20 pips. However, I want to stick to my strategy and I'm gonna accept only almost 15 pips of profit. And I'm gonna of course select almost the same as my stop loss just in case all right so we have two trades opened at a time and i'm not gonna risk opening third trade two is two trades it's, it's enough actually so let's just pay attention to what's happening to the pound and the d right now look at that we can see that here on the five minute time frame uh, pound and ZD has also failed to break out from that support line I have drawn here. However, we are facing right now another attempt and this candle is gonna close after exactly uh, 47 seconds. So let's wait and see what will gonna happen. Uh, there is a, of course, yes, there is a, pot a, a possibility that I might lose the trade. Uh, the reversal has already happened right here. As you can see, the reversal happened exactly at the level I have mentioned. However, it seems like it did not hold the position because we can see that we had here also a previous support level. That support has become a resistance. And look at that. Yes, the candle is still falling down. And it seems like the pair is not able to um, rise above that level. Actually, I just noticed that I have placed a buy for the pound and ZD and short for the euro and ZD. Okay, now we need to pay attention to the NZD itself because uh, it's not, not it's, you see, it's not really uh, smart at all to open, buy, and sell for the same pair, uh, sorry, for the same currency at the same time. So, look at that right now. The euro NZD is going up, and the pound NZD is also going up. So as you can see, we can see the harmony. Look at the sh the pattern; they are very similar. Do you see the similarity? Look at that euro NZD pound density the similar similarity in the patterns is actually remarkable and therefore i think it was wrong decision to uh, buy on one pair and sell on the other one it's one of the mistakes i fall to when i'm doing the live trading because i'm just getting <laughs> excited to open the trade front of you all right so let's fix this mistake um what we are seeing right now here is a previous support level as i mentioned that the one I have drawn here, it has been broken out by this bearish breakout candle. And therefore, I think it's the time to accept the loss because it seems like uh, buying the pair uh, for the pound and the D is not really the smartest idea. And we have to wait some time to see what will gonna happen with this candle. This candle actually might close as a bullish candle. And if that happens, I'm going to close uh, the trade with the loss. As I mentioned before, uh, it's better to short the uh, euro and ZD rather than buying it. As, and we can do the same for the pound and ZD. Exactly, look at that. Pound and ZD is rising to the line I have drawn here. And actually, I'm going to close the trade with a loss of $17 and replace it with the sell. That is the right thing to do. Just go along with it. Accept the losses and just do the right thing. And the right thing right now is uh, at the moment is to the sell because it seems like the retest of that broken resistance has failed. Um, the retest did not exceed and uh, succeed and therefore, yes, look at that. Yes, yes, yes. Look at that. That is something I missed uh, seeing on the four hour, on the one hour time frame. We can see right here the resistance level and the pair has actually tried to make the uh, retest and it has failed. Therefore, Pound and ZD is going to continue the fall all the way to hit that previous support level right there. So that's the reason, as we can see, uh, the, trade, the, the trade is going well, actually. As we can see, yes, it is below my entry. And let me just select right now the take profit level, which is going to be right here, the support level, because this is the nearest support to my entry. We need actually to recover the $17 that we have just lost on this trade, which is fine because we can uh, expect $68 again from this trade, uh, which I have opened right now. So this is, I think, interesting because 
it shows you how we can fix the thread if in case we went in the wrong direc direction or something happened you can actually fix it later so um, what I'm trying to say here is before entering it was seem or it seemed like the pair is gonna actually retest the broken resistance and the pair seems like it's going up what we can see right here on the five minute time frame that the reversal happened indeed but however it could not hold the position and therefore we have here a, 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 a bearish breakout candle appeared so you need to actually fix your trade you have to go along with the market go with it you see how the market is goes you just go along with it so your analysis here was correct but however the market said the market has said something different and it seems like the market is going to continue the fall therefore just go along with it don't keep your uh, don't fight the market to go in your direction and keep your buy order simply close it and replace it with a sell that is exactly what i have done here and let's see right now how this how it how it will go and yes allow me now please to pause the recording and i'll be back to you shortly to show you what will gonna happen with this trade so as we can see the euro and zd is going in a deep profit and right now we are going in total of almost 13 pips of profit now i wanted to say that i'm totally aware the amount here is to so tiny it's just 34 dollars however actually i have i have been thinking and since it is educational channel i believe it is important to go along with the learners and the beginners and uh, show them the reality if they have this small account of thousand four hundred dollars uh, maybe um, I should show them that they can actually make a good profit is you using a small lot size such as 0 0.5 lot only instead of one lot size however um, I think I think I should uh, do that and be more wise about the um, the trades I'm opening on the live account on YouTube the the idea here is to see how we open the trades not to see how much we are earning because it's more important to understand how this market is moves and what are the setups that we can look for then it's really up to you only to decide how much lot size you are using and since it is educational channel and educational video I'm going to use a small lot size because it is actually uh, gonna give a good example for the learners and those who are just uh, has just started their journey in trading forex so as you can see euro and zd as i said is going right now is an 11 pips of profit and i'm gonna wait for it to hit the take profit level because i'm certainly sure it's gonna continue the fall and for um the pound and zd it's also going in the profits so far and we are just uh, covering uh, the commission fees um let's just pay attention that yes it's almost gonna it's almost there i think i'm gonna close the trade right now yeah almost almost 14 almost 14 pips of profit that should be fine we have already recovered the losses from the uh, first trade of the euro and zd and also we have made a good profit of another 17 dollars now we are hoping for the good profit from the pound and zd sorry i mean we i mean we have recovered the losses from the pound and zd anyway let's now wait and see what will gonna happen with this uh, trade before we close the video this should be the last one because actually i don't want to uh, make the video longer so i think we just gonna have to wait for this trade to expire so uh, until then allow me please to pause the recording and i'll be back to you shortly to show you what will gonna happen with the pound and zd and as we can see the trade has almost hit the take profit level and i'm going to close it right now with the 48 dollars of profit and end this video uh because actually i need to go <laughs> so um it was a good trade and i hope after watching this uh, video you have learned that you can actually close the trade if it goes against your favor and just go in the right direction when you have to please don't try to fight with the market don't try to force the market to go in your direction and insist on your trade you have to be careful and just go along with it in the way it's go it's going so in the end i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching